To write the balanced net ionic equation for LiOH plus H3PO4, this is lithium hydroxide and phosphoric acid. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance that molecular equation. So I can see I have three lithiums here and only one here. I'm going to put a three here, and it looks like now I need to put a three here. So I have three hydrogens plus three, that's six, three times two, six hydrogens, and then everything else that works out. So here's our balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So lithium, you see that OH after it, this hydroxide bonded to the metal. If we look at a list of strong bases, this OH bonded to the metal, it tells us it's a base. Lithium hydroxide is a strong base. So it's going to dissociate completely in water, break apart, put an AQ after it. For strong acids, we don't see H3PO4. It's not a strong acid. It's actually a weak acid. So it will dissolve in water, but it's not going to split apart into its ions. So that's something important for us to remember. For lithium phosphate, phosphates often are insoluble. So I'm just going to check that here on this solubility table. Here's lithium right here and then phosphate right here. So that I, that means it's insoluble. It won't dissolve in water and it's going to be a solid. So when we write the state, S for solid. It also means that when this happens, this will be a precipitate. This will fall to the bottom of the test tube as a solid. Water, that is a liquid. So now we have our states. We can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That will give us the complete ionic equation. Lithium's in group 1. It has a 1 plus. The hydroxide ion, the whole thing, 1 minus. So I have three lithium ions. And I won't write aqueous now. Let's write that at the end. And then three of these hydroxide ions. And then we said that phosphoric acid is a weak acid. So even though it dissolves and it's aqueous, because it's a weak acid, we don't split it apart. So we're just going to call H3PO4. And those are the reactants. This H3PO4, probably a good one to remember that it's a weak acid, so it will dissolve, but it won't break apart into hydrogen ions and phosphate ions, just a little bit. So we have our reactants. Let's do the products. We have Li3PO4, but it's a solid. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations either. So just lithium phosphate, Li3PO4, and we don't split water apart. We have three water molecules. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we're going to cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So if I look, I don't see anything that's the same on both sides. So the complete ionic equation, it's the same as the net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for LiOH plus H3PO4. Let me clean that up, put the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for lithium hydroxide plus phosphoric acid. Note that charge balances out. We have a three plus and a three minus. So this whole side has a net charge of zero. Same here, these are both neutral net charge of zero. And if you count the atoms up, you'll find that those are balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for LiOH plus H3PO4. Thanks for watching.